My fans, this question is a jam question. But then, even if now they prepare for or they on the level or university, you still need to pay attention here. I'm not there now. So my name is Instructor Alice. You know now, I teach math and science in Pigeon English. So you know, so never subscribe to my channel. I bet you subscribe button and like the video. Now, 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 run this one. Why they follow me? Smile. I just smile for you. I want to solve something. Now, I am going to run and say, you can just say, in the diagram, which diagram? This one we see here. Wait till they talk. Say, the current passing through the 6 ohm resistor. Why you be saying now, let's see the dimension. Glass is the CM. Which current? See this arrow. It they represent current. If I want, I will just carry the symbol I put here. Everybody will carry I CM for the whole wide world. We know say this thing, maybe just arrow. It is symbolized current. Say current the flow like this. The direction where current the flow. See, I'm now you flow past this one, flow past. You understand? So they can say the current passing through the six ohm resistor is 1.5 ampere. So that means this current with the flow, the value of the current now 1.5. This A with the now ampere, ampere, something we call an ampere. I don't know why they call that kind of thing. See the spelling ampere. Now the S. I unit for current. Then they measure current for in ampere. So the symbol now we use capital A. Then they cause me to calculate the current in the current where we don't get to where they flow past the six ohm resistor. They cause me to still calculate current in the three ohm resistor. Is it that is it that kind of thing? We calculate the current in the three ohm resistor. I won't take on do that thing. I found no worry now. Now I can hear me run now. So the first thing now to analyze the circuit first. Analyze the circuit, say, okay, this circuit has to be like this now. High B. This two resistors were here. You know, say that the resistor symbol we do used to now this one. Now the same thing with this one though. If, if if you don't see these ones, if the few is what replace them like this. So just to say these symbols now for resistor. In fact, if you carry I see ohms, ohms, now maybe the unit for resistor. If you never see, maybe I will do video on resistor, teach everything about resistor. <laughs> So now this question now can come on that resistor where they connect the arrangement of resistor. Then they connect resistor or arrange resistor in series and also in parallel. Now these two, they in parallel. These two resistors, these three ohm resistor and two ohm resistor, they in parallel. So we need to resolve this parallel resistor. When we can't get the answer, final answer, you can't do in series with this particular six ohm resistor. Then we don't finish work with that though. Yeah, we run and run. So parallel resistor, if I want, I feel just say, okay, make we make this particular one, say, make we call them arrow one. Make we make this particular one, arrow two, this particular one, make this one, arrow three. Let me see they compose the same as one more. If you use any representation, maybe arrow A, arrow B, arrow C. If you see, if you see like that, so on, it's possible. <laughs> so what you will do now, resolve, get the equivalent resistance of these resistors where they connected in parallel. Waiting with the equivalent. If you don't want to use the equivalent, call out total resistance. We be waiting for this particular resistors. We then connect in parallel. How I want to get another the formula. Formula for make a solution here. Yeah. Say solving for R1 and R2. So how I want to solve. Keep in mind R1 and R2. Are connected in parallel. So parallel connection, parallel connection. Get the formula. One over arrow total. I might use total. If you use arrow equivalent, EQ equivalent, or if you use arrow total, if you like arrow total will be more simpler for now. Equal to one over arrow one. And the formula they put now. Plus one over arrow two. Maybe if they say we get uh, another one we maybe this particular thing to still there like this connected in one two three maybe like three things where they connect the parallel you forget arrow three as the case will be no go put arrow three this one now series so you don't follow these people though now just these two so we will resolve this one the value will get you gotta go marry this one so maybe run now so now waiting be waiting be this arrow one one over arrow one now waiting now three three ohms plus arrow two now waiting one over arrow two now two one over two so now you said you know say this particular one a normal fraction now fraction we know they will tell me look for the lcm and the lcm now six and if you don't want to follow all those particular ones shortcut they will go like for you shortcut day for fraction i never teach you that one i make a run now so one over arrow total now is equal to see the shortcut 
if you want to solve this addition of fraction, if you do have a subtraction of fraction, share, see what you will do. Use 2 multiply by 1. 2 times 1, 2. Bring the sign right there. If not minus, write minus. Now plus, put plus. 3 times 1. And then multiply this like the diagonals like that too. I just call them diagonals. 2 times 1, 2. 3 times 1, 3. Over 2 times 3. Or 3 times 2, 6. So 2 plus 3 will give you 5 over 6. And then at the same thing, even if you look for LCM of 3 and 2, the LCM now is in 3 times 2 will be 6. 3 go into 6, how many times? 2 times, 2 times 1, 2. Now 2 goes still there. Uh, 2 go into 6, how many times? 3. 3 times 1, now 3 goes still there. Now shortcut will just show you that. So now since you define a root total, it will be 1 over. Now this will now just be formula, but see what you will define, the total resistance. So if I be you, to no waste time, I will flip them. Flip and since I define this guy, oh yeah, now you go up. Since now you will define one come down. So if the left side they go up, the down one too, the down one way there. If they go up for the left side, the down one for this place will be they go up. The one way they up will come down. You go flip them. So you can say arrow total, which is same thing as arrow over one. You know arrow total over one as same thing as arrow total now is equal to five over six will flip to six over five. Now I'm the value for arrow total. Remember, so no be arrow total, they say make you find no. Uh -huh. What is the same you find? Make you calculate the current in the three ohms resistor. This current for this particular place. This current now, now the one with the flow past this particular six ohm resistor. So the current they don't even give you already. So what you can do now is so you don't get this particular guy. It is very simple, my fans. You know, say as it be like this, you never calculate all the resistors where they are. So now as you don't get this particular guy, you go use a marry with this particular. But, but see, you're gonna need to understand question before you go move further. Because if you go waste your time, you will all waste time in vain. Start the question again in the diagram. Where with this diagram? The current passing through the six ohm resistor is this one. We don't treat that one finish. Don't give us calculate the current in the three ohms resistor. Now, if you calculate current, you're gonna need voltage. Now, if you check, we don't get voltage for this place for this particular question. And I want to get voltage now. Ohm's law, you go bring up where to be ohm's law. Ops law say the current passing through the a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference provided the temperature and other physical <laughs> physical weighting. Put up a comment section. Physical condition are kept what or remain what constant. So from Ohm's law V equal to I times R. Abina. <laughs> so now remember say this I they don't give you V now will be equal to. This I, they don't give you the I now be this 1.5. 1.5 times arrow, which arrow be this? This arrow total, the total resistor with the connecting series. So the total now waiting 6 over 5. So V now will be equal to waiting be 1.5 times 6 over 5. This was supposed to give you around 1.8. Make me confirm a lot time no day. I carry calculator here now. I go, I go hide <laughs> 1.5 times 6 divided by 5. It's supposed to give us 1.8 alive for you. <laughs> and so yeah, now 1.8, 1.8 waiting votes. Don't forget to even this one said where you get it's supposed to put the unit ohms. This one a vote. I beg don't forget the unit. I beg uh, very, very important. Now we don't get this particular vote. But remember, say for this life, what did they say make you find for this question? Now to calculate the current in the six ohms resistor. Now make you need this particular vote is to fit calculate this current. Now the reason be that if not, nothing happened. So now we make you face this guy now. The current now where we, we the same we find. The current now I. The current where we the same we find. Where they pass through this ohm resistor. I want to get them. Now still this ohm's law we use. V equal to I times arrow. Now since now current is defined now. Make current a subject of formula. Just divide both side by arrow. Divide both side by arrow. So that arrow will cancel arrow. I now will be equal to V over arrow. Now I will be the current defined. V now waiting. V now this value we get here. Maybe 1.8 divided by arrow. What if the arrow? The measure specifically. So make you calculate the current in the three ohms resistor. Sam, calculate the current in the three ohms resistor. The current will pass this particular arrow one. Now in the same way, specifically. Because all this already, we don't use this one. We don't use the one with the pass through the second check now. In the diagram, the current passing through the six ohm resistor. Now we also we don't finish guy. So the one with the pass through this one particularly. Apart from this one, where they pass through this particular one, wait till which current will they pass through this one? Now, wait till we define now. I make we calculate for the vote, they make for help us get them. So, divide by 3 ohms is 3. 
I now equal to 1.8 divided by 3. What will be the answer? What will give you? This will give you 0 0.6. 0 0.61 ampere. Is it say if 1.5 ampere they pass through they pass through this 6 ohm resistor? 6 big now. That means the one they pass through 3 ohm resistor is supposed small. It's actually small. 0 0.6 ampere. <laughs> it's the analysis is correct. Otherwise, with this one, we know it's correct. You know, we even need to go find, you know, whether it's correct or you know, it's correct by the analysis. Everything just enter. This is this question, they're very, very simple. The way I explain them, you enter B. If you enter, let me know for comment section now. Use like, finish me for this particular comment section. Use like of this video. Use and finish me. Use and wound me. <laughs> but if you never subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The last one you will do, use sharing. Ah, share and go everywhere where you belong. Any group where you share and go there. Share and, share and like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace and love. I don't go.